Dozens of people remain homeless tonight following a ferocious fire that ripped its way through a condo complex in Montgomery County. This was the scene at the Church Road condominiums in Wincote 24 hours ago as flames burst through the roof of the three-story building. Kenneth Bolton reports on how this investigation is just beginning. Crews were securing this building and removing debris less than 24 hours after this fire tore through the Wincote condominium. Friday night, it was a rush to save lives as firefighters ran into 1600 Church Road condos looking for residents. I heard some of my neighbors in the hall. I said, I better get up and just check. And when I looked out in the hallway, saw the smoke, I was like, it's real. At least 10 people were rescued from the 55 unit building known as the Beacon Building. More than 125 firefighters from 20 fire companies went to work to get this inferno under control. Four hours later, firefighters finally had a handle on it, but the damage had been done. Part of the roof collapsed, and as residents found during the day Saturday, there wasn't much left. We're on the bottom floor, we're hoping it's just water damage, but I assume everything's gone, smoke damage and destroyed. Earlier in the day, three other buildings in the complex with 40 units each yeah. were evacuated because of no power, gas, or water. Red Cross set up a shelter at Sheltingham High School where community leaders and groups held a meeting to figure out what's next for those who have lost everything. We can't do it alone. We can't do everything. We, we, we depend on the community to sort of rally around um, disaster victims to help them recover, and that's exactly what was going on today. Preliminarily, the fire marshal believes the cause was accidental, and it started in a third floor condo kitchen. Five residents and two firefighters were treated for smoke inhalation, but there were no serious injuries. It's just one day at a time at this point. I'm just grateful, you know, I walked away with my life. The power for the entire complex started here, the Beacon Building, so generators have been brought in and crews have been working to restore electricity to those other buildings, but there's no word on how long that will take. Reporting in Wincote, Kenneth Moten, Channel 6, Action News.